Hey, what's up guys? So after my last few videos about this May 2012 MacBook Air, I got quite a few requests of a gameplay. So today I finally decided that that will be the day I do some gameplay on this. And what I'm going to show you today is Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. I got this off of uh, Mac App Store for just $20. It was 50% off, I think, at the time. Um, and before we just uh, start playing that, I want to go to uh, options here and I want to show you that everything is set to absolutely full. Uh, I'll even increase the brightness if it helps. Uh, so as you can see everything is set to full um, or as much as everything. And then uh, let's just resume the game and just see how fast it loads up. That's it. And I have to say, I played this game, the multiplayer, all the time, and I see absolutely no problems. I have, again, everything set to fullest, um, and no problem at all. Uh, I don't play as much of uh, this kind of levels, uh, but again, multiplayer runs very smoothly on full settings. The only problems you might have with that is maybe your internet connection will be slow. But as far as the computer, it runs perfectly. And just while we're on it, I'm going to tell you a few things um, about this computer. And first of all, and it's about me, I'm not a very good player. Well, I guess in the multiplayer, I am a quite a good player. I usually end up in the top 5. Uh, but I'm, I do not know how good my skills are in here with this weapon. Uh, what I will tell you is uh, this computer is the basic 13 inch uh, or almost the basic as far as processor goes um, it has a 1.3 Ivy Bridge which is Intel's uh, third generation i5 processor this is a 1.8 uh, version of that or uh, not 1.8 but yeah 1.8 version I was thinking about buying 2 gigahertz but you see uh, a good point that Matt Macintosh made is that you don't you, if you're buying this computer spending money on just 1.8 might be just um, a, a uh, not a very smart spend of money because uh, you don't really need this with this computer if you want a more powerful computer just go for the MacBook Pro um, and that's what I decided to do and I have to say 1.8 is just enough for me uh, I never see an opportunity uh, for myself to say, you know, I need a 2 GHz computer. Uh, this is really enough. As far as the RAM goes, I really needed more than 4 GB, so I have 8 in here. So this version or this new MacBook Air really suits me because I really needed the 8 GB. Uh, so if you want, I will put links down below. Uh, you can go there for my review of this MacBook Air. There's also a speed test uh, which shows you just how fast it is and I used most of the programs that every other YouTuber used. So um, that really will help you because you can compare what I have, uh, my numbers with uh, other YouTubers numbers to see the difference between MacBook Pro, the new one, uh, Retina MacBook Pro and just other MacBook Airs. And the reason this computer is so fast uh, is definitely because of the flash storage. Uh, because you see every processor of a computer for the last, uh, I don't know, five years at least uh, has been very powerful at reading data. The only thing that would slow it down uh, is the HDD. So why have a powerful uh, computer if... Uh, if the HDD slows it down so much because you see the processor can read that information no problem but the HDD wouldn't give that processor uh, all that information in time uh, with this hard drive or not a uh, hard drive but um, solid state drive or as Apple calls it flash drive because they store it directly on the motherboard um, not in a box uh, with, uh, it really gives the processor the information it needs right away uh, so, as you know, sometimes um, computers can use their hard drives, uh, a part of their hard drive, as a RAM. 
uh, now that always has been a problem because then it would be very slow at reading that information uh, here I get 500 um, what is it gigabytes or something like that uh, on the uh, read speeds and 250 on the right or something like that um, I might mess, uh, mess up those two but um, its numbers are 500 and 250 uh, you can go again for my speed test of this machine to find out exact numbers uh, and uh, so you can even have 4 gigabytes of RAM in here and it will still be uh, pretty good because if it needs more RAM it can just store some of the information on the SSD or the flash storage uh, and still give you that information pretty quickly not fast enough for the daily use but uh, still very good uh, and I might be a bit slow here that's because I'm talking and playing and I'm a man and I do not know how to multitask, multitask very good um, not a, of course in an offensive way to any man out there um, but just saying just making a joke Uh, so you can definitely probably I'll just turn the uh, volume down for you and you can probably uh, already hear and I'm lost you can probably hear the fans can you hear that hopefully you can um, and actually I'm buying a microphone a new microphone I'll probably settling down for Yeti uh, Pro or not Pro uh, Yeti by Blue uh, that's a very good microphone and I'm probably gonna buy that one in about a week I know I promised you guys a microphone for a long time now and it's just finally uh, time to get one so in a week or two I'm probably gonna be ordering one from Amazon so you can stay tuned for that uh, so that's it uh, basically for that story and I'm lost again uh, so I'll just turn the Thank you. I'll turn the volume back up uh, since you don't need to hear the fence all the time. God, where do they go? I remember playing this, but again, I'm more a multiplayer gamer. So yeah, it definitely is hard um, and the keyboard, actually, Apple said that uh, some of the heat disappears through the keyboard and I have to say the keyboard itself is absolutely just as regular of a temperature as it can be but the little metal spots between the keyboard they can get hot between the, this W key especially because that's where the cooling is uh, so there it can get pretty hot but um, the uh, keys themselves stay pretty cool uh, and then again uh, over here where the vent is um, it does get hot uh, fans do kick in but uh, performance stays very high and as you saw just now um, it's uh, the all of the things are in options are turned on to the fullest and uh, it still played very nicely for the seven minutes or so uh, that's probably where I'm gonna end it here again you can I have a review of this machine unboxing and also a speed test uh, so you really want to check that out especially the speed test because it's some amazing amazing numbers um, and you can just compare that to some other Apple products. Uh, so thank you for watching guys and I'll catch you later.